And our countdown continues as we prepare for next week's historic solar eclipse. Now, there has been a lot of discussion about taking precautions to protect your eyes, but if you're likely to be on the road, it's also important to consider what you need to do to make sure you are safe behind the wheel. Many astronomy enthusiasts plan to travel to areas where they'll have the best view of the upcoming total eclipse. Widener University professor Harry Augenson is heading west to a location within the path of totality. I'll be traveling to Nebraska, to uh, just south of Lincoln, because that's where it's going to be total. So I'm looking forward to seeing all the ph phenomena associated with uh, an eclipse. But many others are planning to stay right here to witness a partial eclipse. And the timing of the mid-afternoon event means a lot of people will be on the road while it takes place. That's why the folks at AAA want you to take precautions when driving. One of the last things that people are thinking about when they're thinking about the solar eclipse is driver safety or traffic safety. If you plan to watch the eclipse, make sure you pick a location. If you're going to take your kids, if you're going to gather with some friends, find a place, get there early, and stay off the road. Even if you are not planning to devote any special time to the celestial event, it's still important to take precautions. Watch out for other drivers trying to watch the eclipse. Keep your lights on. Keep your visor down so you're not tempted to look at the sun. Don't take pictures or video while driving. Do not drive with one hand on the wheel and one hand on your phone while you're on the road. You need to look out for yourself, your passengers, and all the folks that you share the road with. Now, in addition to warnings about driving safety, some experts say that there is a chance the eclipse could have an impact on your car's GPS system. The scientists are warning that the eclipse could actually create error messages on some computers as well. Those GPS apps that many of us rely on could also be affected, but don't worry too much because you may not even notice. Your device may just be slightly less responsive than you typically experience. I certainly don't want anyone to panic. Nobody is going to drive off a bridge because of GPS telling them to, you know, take a turn that isn't there. Scientists are taking this rare opportunity to study exactly what happens during Monday's eclipse.